The Carolina Panthers have a young, promising first round draft pick on the roster who is a star in the making, but it's not Bryce Young, it's quarterback J.C. Horn. Ready to go, ready to go. How's it going today? I'm Jesse McNamer and welcome to Point of View. Before we get into it today, I just want to say we always appreciate your feedback and look forward to reading your comments like the one we've got here. Also, be sure to stay tuned to the end of this episode to see if you can guess today's trivia question down below. To today's topic, are we being robbed of watching a future All-Pro corner because of the injury bug? Somebody who could be even better than Josh Norman? J.C. Horn has just hasn't had the best of luck to start his career, but I think he sells a ton of untapped potential that we will be seeing very soon. Horn was the highest drafted defensive player in the 2021 class, taken 8th overall out of South Carolina. He was immediately thrown in with the starters for a defense that was ranked 18th in yards and points given up the season before. He was quiet in his first three starts, but played nearly every defensive snap in each matchup. Then, the injuries began. Horn suffered a fracture in his right foot in his third game and required surgery, missing the remainder of his rookie season. Not the way you want any young player to start their career, but he took the offseason to recover and came back strong in 2022. Horn started 13 games, collecting 53 tackles, 7 passes defended, and 3 picks. Still, Horn missed weeks 6 and 7 with a rib injury, and then suffered a broken wrist in week 15 that required another surgery. Yet, you were able to see early signs of a breakout star that season. And third time's the charm, right? Well, not in this case. Horn didn't even make it through the 2023 offseason without another injury. A left foot and ankle injury in spring put him in a walking boot at OTAs. A series of injuries like this could break the spirit of a lot of players, but Horn was able to put the injuries aside and stay positive and locked in with the help of his dad and former four-time Pro Bowl receiver Joe Horn. Here's what JC had to say about his dad's support entering the 2023 season. But just understanding that you can't control him, you know, it's, it's always a lot of talk when a player goes down about, you know, him being injury prone or whatever, but I, I don't think people understand that the player doesn't want to be hurt. He's he's more upset than you about, you know, being hurt. So just telling me to stay focused, you know, focus on the next day and just, you know, keep striving to be better. Entering the Panthers' 2023 season opener at Atlanta, there was palpable excitement surrounding his return and Horn playing alongside Dante Jackson. But it didn't last long. Horn went down with a hamstring injury in week one and was placed on IR, missing the next 10 games. Following that game against the Falcons, Jackson stuck up for his teammate, telling Darren Gant of Panthers.com, quote, That's why it sucks, man, because you see a guy like him who constantly goes overboard to take care of his body, and then he gets told he's injury prone. He went on to say, But like behind the scenes, you know, you see how hard he actually works to be out there. And it just sucks because he'll never have that narrative not on his name. End quote. Orton did make a return in Week 12 and played five of the final six games, collecting 26 tackles and five passes defended. But as we know, the Panthers weren't playing for anything, and were really just trying to get Horn back into the mix. So up to this point in his NFL career, he's missed 29 of 51 possible games, but things could be turning around. Horn is expected to have his first full NFL offseason without any lingering injuries and should be 100% to start 2024. That means it's time to remember just how talented he is, so at least some of us are prepared when he becomes one of the best corners in the league. You're probably familiar with RAS, or Relative Athletic Score, that's given to players at the NFL Combine. Well, Horn scored a 9.99 out of 10. At the time, that was the second best score among 1,784 cornerbacks between 1987 and 2021. To say he's got elite athleticism is a wild understatement. And that translated to the NFL in 2022, the only season he got extensive playing time. Horn allowed the second lowest passer rating in the league at 52.6, and was one of five cornerbacks to not allow a single touchdown. He was also among the best in yards and first down catches allowed, all while playing on a defense that gave up the 22nd most yards and 19th most points in the league. And he did it all against some of the best talent in the league. Take DK Metcalf, for example. He's three inches taller and 35 pounds heavier than Horn, yet Metcalf had an incredibly tough time with Horn in their Week 14 matchup in 2022. Take a look at these two plays. Horn and Metcalf are matched up on the left side. The Seahawks try to exploit the size difference in the back corner of the end zone, but Horn keeps his eye on the QB and gives Metcalf a legal shove to pull, play the ball and nearly come down with a pick. The second play, the Seahawks are just trying to move the ball and save some clock, but Horn had other plans and snatched the ball right in front of Metcalf. It was ruled out of bounds, but Metcalf had nothing for Horn all day. 
Obviously, injury concerns will follow Horn throughout the rest of his career, but he still managed to have that great of a season after foot surgery, so his resilience isn't in question. And with a healthy offseason, he's poised to chase a Pro Bowl appearance or even an All-Pro selection in 2024, especially considering defensive coordinator guru Ijero Ivero will remain with the team. So I'm just warning you now, there's going to be fireworks in Carolina, and it won't be because of the offense. J.C. Horn is next up. Another quarterback looking to find more success in 2024 is Patrick Peterson. Be sure to check out our recent point of view to hear more on how he still has some gas left in the tank. And the moment you've been waiting for, here's the answer to today's trivia question. We appreciate you tuning into this episode of Point of View, and we will see you in the next one.